Remember that saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? My ant problem isn't getting any better. I have to do something, but I really don't want to do it. But there's two reasons why I have to do it. I'm gonna have to take the door apart on the dishwasher. I keep seeing more and more ants in here, and it's not cool. And this door, there's like, on the bottom here, there's a lip that goes like this, and then the door kind of goes over the top, kind of make a watertight seal. And there's a bunch of junk in there that I saw. I mean, this dishwasher is like six, seven years old, but I don't like the fact that there's this junk in there, and I don't like the fact that there's ants in here. So, you gotta take it apart. I know there's a few dirty dishes in my dishwasher. I'm not gonna run it for that little bit of dishes, and I'm not waiting you know, to the middle of the night to do this video. So, we're doing it now. Got the correct bit to take it apart, got my coffee, I'm ready to go. Not exactly what I wanted, but at least it allows me access to all the gook and grime that I saw in here. And clear most of that out. So hopefully the ants aren't attracted into here. It's the only thing I can think of. Now, I mean, I did not shut the power off yet, so be careful. Danger. There is a risk of electrocution. junk I wanted to get to. And like the way it looked. So let's clean it up. Remember that saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? It's no worse than cleaning the drain out in your tub or something. Or your sink. It's all that soap, residue build up stuff. Yes, this is overkill, I realize that, but it's kind of bugging me. I'm using a window cleaner with ammonia just to kill any ants that are in here. This is that lip I was talking about that's up here and then the door kind of closes over top of it. Well, it's time to really get this back together. Not much more to do. Do you remember which screws go where? I probably didn't need to take apart the dishwasher. I don't think it's gonna solve my ant problem, but at least that gook and grime is out of there and mentally I'm a little bit happier. Uh, maybe it'll help a little bit with the ants. Who knows? Let's see if I remember how to run this thing. All right, I'm glad that's taken care of. Alright, so my surgery date is set. It's a little scary to know that it's set. I mean, I'm happy, but I'm scared. This surgery kind of terrifies me. I've never really had major surgery like this. I mean, this is like major surgery to me. I've never, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog. And this is gonna be like the time when I'm in the hospital that I wanna vlog the most because one, I'm gonna be bored out of my mind. I'm gonna be in a ton of pain.
probably going to be doped up and there's not going to be much I can do about that. I mean, unless I can refuse the medication, you should probably be able to do that, right? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, either way, it's not going to be fun. I want to be able to vlog. Can't edit when I'm in the hospital, so that's going to be very frustrating to me. Um, maybe I'll figure something out. I don't know. Oh man, either way, surgery is set, the countdown begins now. Does the video look a little better? The shutter speed is at where it's supposed to be. I had it twice as fast earlier, that's why the motion blur here didn't quite seem normal. There was a little less motion blur, and it, it just, you would use that more for like, fast pace, action, explosions, war, hectic footage. Not for taking apart a dishwasher. My fault, I can't do anything about it now. Oh well.